Why, hello there. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade. And this is How to App on iOS. And today we're looking at some swarm. Double base! Base, how low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? Hey, oh, there you are. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching over on Facebook, oh. <laughs> my grandpa says to, uh, I don't know, if, don't get the vaccine. It's got a microchip in it. Yeah, so come over and join us here on the Facebook if you would uh, on the Facebook. No, on the YouTube. Don't go. Don't go to Facebook. Facebook's evil. Uh, and speaking of which, I'm going to close Facebook because people are messaging me on it. Go away. Right. So come over to YouTube at YouTube.com/slash How to App on iOS. No, YouTube.com/ slash Jade Star. I don't even know my own YouTube channel. Or you can go to the web browser and watch the show daily in the browser at How to App on iOS dot com. There it is. I'm clicking the button and it should appear in the chat in a second. That's the uh, website. Yeah, heck, that exactly, Tom. Heck with Facebook. Or you can watch the show live every day on the Twitch. And there's the logo over there. See? The Twitch logo. At twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. And you can subscribe there as well. And you get all these funky emojis like Werther's Originals emojis. Werther's Anal Beads. You get it all there. Um, yeah. Hello to everybody in the chat. I hope you're all doing super well. Having a good day and all that stuff. Good evening wherever you are. All that. Let me close a few windows on my laptop just in case a YouTube video starts playing. Like a Werther's original commercial. We wouldn't want that, would we? No, not at all. Uh, hello to the folks in the chat. Good to see you all. Wow, so many of you here. Greg Ule. Is that how you say it? Oh, man. I'm doing my best. Uh, Audible video. Hello to you, Samuel. <laughs> if you've come for the jazz, man, you're in the wrong place because I just play drunk jazz. Those of you who've been on the channel know what my drunk jazz is like. Not a box. Hello to you. Nina, 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 Nina. Hello. Uh, who else is here? Sai, it's effing good to see you. Effing good to see you. Joe, what's going on? Give Joe a big kiss, everybody. Mm, yeah. Him straight. Uh, Tom Michelle, hello. Uh, Colin Powell, hello to you. I have an idea. Hello, I have an idea. Oh. Ouch, that hurt. Um, uh, let me see who else is in my magic mirror today. Greg Hernandez. Hello to you. Uh, what was that? <laughs> yep, the coffee's kicking in, folks. It's all good. We're, we're heading down the heading down the the. <laughs> <laughs> the bad gravy train to hell already. Bubba's here. Hello, Bubba. Um, Wall, good to see you too. Wall, hello, Wall. And I think that's everyone we've got coming. Thomas Galaney's here too. Hello, Thomas. Would you tell me a story? All right. Um, I don't have any stories to tell, but Tom could tell you a story if you go to Thomas Galaney's um, story page. He's got a story channel, believe it or not. Alrighty, uh, what else do we have to cover today? So, uh, there are there any price drops? We should do the price drops because that's what we do regularly on the show. So let's have a look at those, yeah? Sometimes apps drop price. Oh man, I clicked the wrong button. Um, there's not much. There's not much to do. Uh, so there's, as I said uh, a couple of shows ago, man, there's not many prize jobs at the moment. So, but all the Nimbrini stuff is on sale. They've got, there's got this, this really funky sale going on at the moment. They're celebrating some kind of party. So like um, everything is like half price. So look at them all. Look, Nimbrini, 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 Nimbrini. There's lots of Nimbrini apps. I don't know what this top one is. So I don't have it. So SS, SDS, Simple Drum Sampler. Can't be that simple. I don't own it. But look, it's dropped from four ninety four ninety nine to down to $3.99. There you go. Uh, and uh, what's... In <laughs> I want to know what Incrediblox is. But it has an interesting app logo. It's a Beatboxes app. <laughs> Uh, 
I used to be a beatboxer, I do admit, uh, yes. Uh, not anymore, so it's, so it's too hard to keep up, uh, it's too popular. Hello Doug, uh, welcome to you. Uh, uh, dance for me, 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 Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance for me, 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 Doug. What the hell? Hey, I just want to thank everybody too, before getting into today's app, for heading over to my new gear recommend recommendation page, which I showed off yesterday. There it is there. And not trying to harp on or anything because a few of you bought some things and that's really nice you know what that means what that means it means that they won't kick me off uh, the, the recommended thing that's really cool so thanks thanks for heading over and doing it hey pete johns is here man what's going on pete good to see you pete's watching over on the t -t 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 twitch yep that's me qvc jade <laughs> you'll see more of that tomorrow we've got something funny planned for tomorrow very funny i trust me. <laughs> if you're in for a laugh tomorrow join us tomorrow it's gonna be silly um but today get your expressions on folks get your expressions on <laughs> expressions on yeah because you have to use this app with expression you don't have to but um but it's a good thing to do so because they're made with expression in mind. So the past two shows with the new swarm strings, I've tried, tried, tried to mix things up a bit, you know, and have a look at them in different ways because we're all different kind of musicians and we all have different skill sets, okay? And Gary Hubs is over on the Twitch using the Werther's original emojis. I'm so glad they're getting used. But just, so let's just have a little talk before we jump into this swarm instrument today because we're gonna be looking at the various ways you can use expression with these. So the past two shows, we looked at the cello and the viola. And I showed you, uh, you could use it in GarageBand. Then uh, we showed you, you know, we showed you a few various ways that we had a look with using the uh, the Nano Pad. Yeah, uh, uh, Joe will love this. The Nano Pad Two. Right. So you've seen various ways you can use them, but they were built in mind to be used with expression. Right. So today we're going to be covering the various ways you can use expression without owning any high-fangled, high-expensive, high volutin tootin' uh, expensive gear, right? Because that's the other thing too. These apps cost money, right? And not everybody has the expensive gear, to, uh, has, an, has a touche expression pedal or even just an expression pedal. Not everybody's comfortable with MIDI mapping. Everybody's on a different level, you know? We all start at zero and, and not everybody's at 100. So there are various ways you can use these as, but today, as I said, we're focusing on expression and we're looking at the, uh, the double bass today by Swarm. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways you can use it without having gear, without having like a MIDI keyboard or anything like that, or having like a nano pad or having anything, any hardware. So we're gonna uh, use GeoShred to uh, do these. So we're going to use the standalone version of GeoShred. We're also going to use uh, GeoShred as an AUV3 to control the double bass. Plus, we're going to wrap it up and what could go wrong using iOS technology. We're going to use an iPhone as a third party device to use the expression. Yeah. And then on the next show, when we look at the violin, that's when we'll look at using actual hardware, like a, an expression pedal. Well, not an expression pedal, but I have a pedal down here on the floor, which I can use. So, eh, all that stuff. So let's jump into it and um, get down to the nitty gritty, as they say. Yeah, boy! That's my segue button, and I'm sticking with it, yeah? Alrighty, so let's open up first uh geo shred all right so this is what you get normally when you open up a geo shred this is uh what's fantastic about geo shred if you haven't seen the shows i've done on i've done uh geo shred shows with the um with the uh, swan brass instruments i've done standalone geo shred shows had Jordan Rudess on the show, uh, you know, talking about GeoShred and how it was made and all that stuff. GeoShred is fantastic. And it comes with some Swarm instruments 
with it as well. So it comes with, um, you know, violin and a cello and a whole bunch of stuff. And you can hear it sounds absolutely and utterly fantastic. Lovely, yeah? Well, you can actually use this to control the swan brass instruments and the swan strings. So, now that we've got this open, let's close it out. And I'll show you the, what the steps you have to go through to uh, get the, the swan brass instruments to actually work with it. Right? Step by step. Step by step. Step by step. That's your cue, Peppy. <laughs> Why do I keep him on the payroll? Absolute dickhead. Right, so you open up the Swarm bra. What was I saying, bra? Swarm a double bass. Um, so here we go. Let's go back to the standard stock um, that you get here with uh, the. Uh, so as, as you see, with the past two episodes, the layout's exactly the same. Um, I've got my Aturia keyboard set up here as well, so you can see. Now this happened with me uh, yesterday, so what I have to do to fix this is, check this out. Let me just close that out. And this is what happens when... There we go. So here, there's your expression. So the, the, well, there's your, your bass with that expression or anything. So I'm going to show you how to set it up so it works perfectly with GeoShred. Let's go back to full screen here so you can see everything that's going on. Right. The first thing you need to do with uh, the Swarm double bass is head over to the little dots in the corner. Click on those and you want to head down to settings. Yeah. Once you are in settings, hit MIDI and it will bring up these options here. You want to move to options. And you want to select enable virtual MIDI ports. So this is for using GeoShred as a standalone, yeah? Not uh, as an AUV3. So you click that and you get a warning saying to enable virtual MIDI ports, you have to restart this app. Cool, I got it. Click the button. I got it, dude. Yeah, let's go for it. So we'll close out of there. And now we want to shut this down. Swipe it away like it's uh, yesterday's wet dream. And off we go. We open it back up. And now it's restarted and it's all good, yeah? So the next thing you want to do is head over to this little MIDI button here and, and click here. Now, once you click that, you normally get these options for uh, going in here and uh, uh, assigning your MIDI for the, all of the fantastic expression that is available here. But now, once you see this screen, click the little presets button. And now you have all these wonderful different things that you can assign to uh, the expression. And what we want to do is hit the Seaboard default. So I've clicked Seaboard and now we can actually get out of here. Now open GeoShred and it'll restart. And we still have the violin selected. So once you're in GeoShred, what you want to do is move your cursor right up to the top where it says uh, your instrument up here. And you will scroll all the way uh, to the bottom and hit MIDI out. Yeah. And just underneath there, you've got a little section here that you want to scroll to find right down the bottom, MIDI out to iOS Swarm. And if everything goes right, we are now controlling the double bass from the Swarm double bass app. And it's all here. So you get all your expression, right? Now you've got a couple of ways you can use the expression once you're here. So if I, you have this little expression pad up the top, sitting up there, which is nice. So I can hold down a note.
pretty cool, yeah. So if you don't have like hundreds of dollars to waste on a, a you know hardware, you can do it in here. But wait, there's more because you've got modulation, as you can see. So you can push that up with your finger, and as you can see on my screen here. But wait, there's even more because you can skip all of this kind of stuff, turn down that modulation, and there's a little button here called finger expression. So when we click on that, this changes everything. This gives you the expression within the actual pad. Yeah. So I'm touching that really lightly as well. But I don't need to worry about that because I can touch it as hard as I want. And that volume is controlled by moving it up. Yeah, let's, let's jump over to this screen again. remember even though you've got the expression built into each note here you still have this pad up here and you can see when you hold down one of the notes up here if you follow my mouse right up in this top corner go full screen so you can see that up here every time you touch geo shred you can see this little button comes up here letting you know that you are connected if you can't see letting you know that you're connected to another app. So that's really cool, yeah? Now, if you touch it, the, the um, actual screen really lightly, you can see it's, it's actually playing plucks. change the octave at any time up the top here so you can uh, right, go all the way up really high lovely yeah really fantastic and you can even uh, actually close out of this uh, just hit my command tab jump over to the back to the swan bass and I can uh, change this to no, I don't know if this actually works let's see if it does I'm just uh... <gasps> so back there over in the app you've got the tremolo so you can choose a slow tremolo or a fast tremolo head back over there a high bass isn't it too much as high as his voice um let's go low oh yeah man you ready So just by uh, clicking back over to here, um, we can turn off the tremolo. We can go in and change the bow. So we can go to a zgetto, zgetto, and command tab to get back over here.
So you've got all the options back and forward. So if you didn't know about this too, if you use a keyboard, it's a really good way to switch between apps, which saves you flipping up from the screen. Uh, just uh, go over here. You actually hold down your command and your tab, and that brings up a selection of apps that you have open. You can flick back and forward. So you can uh, change the bow lift. You can actually go in here. This is cool too. And change the po the polyp, polyp, the polyp, honey. Ah! 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 I'll belt you one, Peppy. Um, so you can actually go in here and change the polyp, honey. And uh, let's flick back over to your mighty. <gasps> now you can actually play chords in GeoShred. This is sick, yeah? With all the expression as well. With all that expression. <laughs> How more fun sex here, da huh? Yeah, that is really cool. That's the one thing about um, GeoShred which kind of upsets me sometimes is the, the inability to be able to play chords with a lot of things, but... I, I think that's really sexy. Do you think that's sexy? Let me know if you think it's sexy in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you think it's sexy, yeah? Do you think it's sexy? I think it's sexy. What do you think, Peppy? I'll feed you tomorrow. All right, so... So that's just one way... That's just one way you can use uh, GeoShred to control... Uh, <laughs> to control the expression if you don't have an expression pedal or anything like that or if you don't have a MIDI controller so it's incredibly possible to do that yeah let's get out of here and we'll jump over to we'll look at this the same thing but uh, in AUM and we'll use it as an AUV3 so as you see we're using the uh, uh, Joe typical <laughs> look at Joe absolutely disgusting putting a 69 in the chat that's absolutely wrong right so we'll close out this <laughs> we'll get rid of this so and we'll close these things out goodbye goodbye and we'll open up AUM now and do a very similar thing but uh, using it as an AV3 well I just have a quick coffee so uh, folks uh, just so you know Studio Live today sponsors this show. Not really. Uh, is anybody new in the chat who I've missed? Well, I've been rabbiting on. Um, uh, Ed Zielinski. Hello to you, Ed Zielinski. I hope you're doing well, Ed Zielinski. Very good to see you, Ed Zielinski. How many times can I say Ed, Ed Zielinski? Nelson Rodriguez. Hello to you. Uh, Nigel Rogers. Hello to you. Um, anyone else? Let's have a quick look. I think I said a lot of audible video. Um, uh, Sojoy Boast, is that how I say that? Um, yes. Mm. All right, so let's have a look at this. So, the, and after we have a look at uh, this in AUM as an AUV3, then I'm going to show you how to use an external iPhone to do uh, this. Hello to Sean Chandler as well. Hello, Brad Example. I hope you're doing well. There's a bear written there with stories to tell. Just grab your child and put him in hell. Open your bear, throw your kid inside. It's Brad's world. There you go. That's just for you, Brad. So we're going to have to open two tracks here in um, AUM. The first one we're going to open is a Geoshred track. And the second one will be a Swarm track. Yeah. So let's do that. We'll do a search for Geoshred. There is GeoShred being installed into AUM. We shall go and find a Swarm uh, Double Bass. 
and now we have all of these uh, connected here so what we need to do uh, first is we want to connect so we want to click the little uh, three lines up here and we want to connect geo shred to control uh, the app then we want to open up the app go full screen and we just want to make sure that the um, I just want to press that button. We just want to make sure that the uh, where are you presets, the seaboard is can set as the default. Okay. Now we can shut that out and open up GeoShred. Make sure I'm doing all the right things. And there we go. It's instantly connected. And we can do all the same things as what we had before. So finger expression so that's all you really have to do open two channels I'll show you there so there they are and we're just controlling the uh, swarm double bass with geo shred so we've selected that from there I'm doing a lot aren't I? I'm saying we 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 all the way home oh man soon me and vortex we're gonna join forces and have a big super channel where us all of us we're gonna fucking rule the world alrighty so um, and the beautiful thing about using it as an AUN, AUV3 is you can add things like like this. We can like go, uh, we can go in here and do a search. And what have we got? Um, um, I can't think what I want to add. What do I want to add? Uh, something. I, I, I could just add black hole, can't I? Just just add black hole. <laughs> and we can add black hole and bang. <laughs> Where is it? Why is it not there? Oh, I put it on the wrong. <laughs> Look at me. I put it on the wrong thing. Uh, put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> uh, the wrong hole, Peppy. Yeah, fuck yeah. Whatever, dude. So uh, let's uh, let's put. Actually, <laughs> oh my God, we'll put black hole here now. Uh, or maybe we could put. Uh, we will put Alteza instead, yeah? Wow, oh, this peppy dude, man. Really. Um, so now you can see I've added the effect onto the swarm instrument in the right place. So now when I open up here. If we go back into our uh, swarm instrument once again we can turn on the double here so we've got our polyp honey happening at the same time on some black holes so it's not as hectic because we you know, can't have everything being hectic all the time so we'll just throw on a bit of black hole black hole sun won't you come not black hole but black hole and wash away in rain
and just like before you can go in and you can change the play mode if you prefer So that's all good, yeah. Pretty, pretty good stuff. How uh, Geo Shred has a lot of uh, versatility to it, and clearly, it's uh, made to work with these Swarm instruments because it has a lot of Swarm instruments built into it. That's a really cool thing. So they've got a, a, an understanding between them. So you know they've got a relationship. They've got, they're, they're, they're in bed together, shall we say? If you know what I mean. Um, and let's uh, just uh, so you can change. Uh, Let's change the bass up a bit, get a bit of a different bass sound here. Try this one here. And remember, uh, within the, the uh, settings of this, you do have a whole bunch of different uh, basses and such. You can actually go through here and choose certain, certain things. So if we head over to here, the play section, and remember as well, just in a previous show, you don't have to use GeoShred, you have the built-in keyboard for expression as well, which you can actually assign your uh, Y-axis to different things, to vibrato depth. Just by moving your finger up and down on the, on the actual keys. So you've got all of that there as well. That's really, really cool. Um, while we're in here, um, what else shall I do? Let's uh, get, close this out. Go away, go away, close, close, there you are. Um, so we've got a different uh, instrument here. Um, uh, let me just jump over to GeoShred. So it's pretty cool, you know, the sky's the limit. You've got all these expression things and just going back over to um, the Swarm app again, you can go in here and you can actually like uh, map these things yourself. And I'm gonna be covering that in the next video on violin in a couple, in a few days time, uh, where we'll actually go in here and we'll map these things to a, 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 um, an expression pedal, to uh, the knobs here on my Arturia. So you'll see how to do this. I'm not doing that today because I'm, you know, I'm spreading the love with these shows, trying to show you a whole different range of ways to use this stuff, yeah? So what we're gonna do to wrap up today is, he, uh, right, is we're going to, now make sure I've got all the right things. So we're gonna shut this down. Let's close out AUM. Goodbye to you, AUM. Thank you for coming. Happy days. Now I'm gonna open up. Oh no, I have to keep AUM open to do this. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do is something that I saw on Thomas Galane's channel. If you haven't been over to Thomas Galane's channel, uh, go and do that, right? Go, go over to Thomas Galane's channel and uh, subscribe because he shows you in depth how to do what I'm about to do. Now, hopefully I'm gonna get this right, but I'm going to try and Use this iPhone as the expression, yeah? 
Righty, so how are we going to do this? We want to turn on my iPhone. Right, so there we go. We've got the screen happening, and you'll need two apps. I'll show you them now, the two apps that you're going to need. We'll head over to the App Store. I'm not sure how long they're on um, sale for. Um, uh, what I will do is I'll, I'll reach out to um, to uh, Audio Modeling and I'll try and find out for you for the um, hand. I'll, I'll try and put it in the comments of this show, yeah? So the two apps you will need to do this, they are free. So no money will be spent. Let's uh, scroll. I better put the uh, phone up on. Can I do that? Can I do it? Oh, there's my phone. So there we go. There's my phone. So we've got my phone in the middle of the screen. Man, this is crazy. I, <laughs> there's too much going on. I'm confused. I'm confused. I need more coffee. Fucking hell. Alrighty. So there's my phone. And the two apps that you will need. The first one is called MIDI Tour. Uh, did I spell that right? I think I did. Yeah, so there, this is the first one that you need. So this app is actually the control mechanism uh, to actually control the expression. So here's some, uh, the images are on the side, so that's not, not cool. Thanks, Apple, for that. So it's a free app, right? So that's the first one you'll need. And uh, you only need this on the iPhone, right? So you need this on your iPhone. Uh, and I'll put a link to in the description um, at the end of the show to this so you can... Uh, grab it for free and the other one that you'll need is called midi mita midi mita there it is again it's free midi mita so this connects uh the two your iphone to your ipad so you need this on both devices this midi mita so there it is there absolutely free yeah good stuff and let's go ahead and do it and <laughs> Thank you, Tom Rochelle, for putting a link to Thomas's video. There's Thomas's video. He shows a little bit more in depth if you want to get a refresher after this. So, firstly, I'm going to open up MIDI Mitter on my iPhone. And I'm going to go to uh, the uh, second tab and I'm going to advertise my iPhone as a Bluetooth, right? So that's now advertising. Then we're going to head over to the iPad where I have this um, connected. And here it is here, right? And now what I want to do is connect uh, this up to my, um, let's see, where are we? So that's all good. Now we want to head over to um, here and we want to select my, um, is that right? I think I did the right thing there. That's all good. Um, it's all showing, are you connected? <laughs> it's live technology man. <laughs> I think we're connected so I'm not showing up there for some reason why am I not showing up why are you not showing up Jade why are you not showing up let's try that I can't see my source showing there uh, da -da 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 -da. don't want that advertising uh, why am I not showing up there we are. Oh, there we are. So Jade's iPhone. We need to go to devices and connect there. That's it. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. I worked it out just before you posted that. So there we go. You can see, and you can't see actually, because my phone was covering it. So these are the three tabs. So I went to the third tab and I connected my iPhone up the top. So Jade's iPhone up there. So now that's connected. We're all good. And when I go back to the start here, there's Jade's Bluetooth. We can turn that on and you will need to go here into destinations and turn on AUM, right? Because we want to use AUM as a destination because that's where we're going to open up all this stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. So let's uh, now jump over to AUM because we should be connected. And now if I go back here to my phone and now I can go and open MIDI Tour. And now, look how big that is. What are you doing, dude? Calm down. Oh, why have you frozen, dude? <laughs> Let's see. Come on. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> look how big it is. It's taking over the whole screen. Let me see if I can shrink that down. 
live. Oh, it disappeared. Come back. Baby, come back, 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 back. All right, let's uh, move this. Where can we move this? Put it there, yeah? So you can see what's going on. And you can see me down here. Cool. That's That looks really unprofessional, but it'll do. Right. So in this app here, you've got two screens. You've got um, little pads here and your expression screen. And why is my phone not showing oh there we go so you've got your little expression screen now in uh let's open up AUM AUM do, 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 do. and we want to add our um our swarm double base I think that's all you need to do isn't it and then we need to go in here and select um I think it's a Bluetooth. Is that right? Have I, I think I've missed a step. <laughs> Let's see. Um, and I need to go into here. And I'm pretty sure we select. Um, ah, that's what I didn't do. I've, I've, I've missed a few steps. So actually in this phone section, I've got to go in to the settings. So here, I'll make this big so you can see what's going on. Man, I'm, I'm making a dog's breakfast of this, but I knew I would because I only just learned to do it. Like, uh, there we go. So we've got configuration stuff here. So, and, and so you'll notice here in the configuration, down the bottom, what we need to do here is uh, set the access points. So down right down the bottom, you've got X, Y, Z access, right? Now, on some devices, there won't be XYZ, they'll just be XY. This is an iPhone 6S, so it has 3D touch. If you have a device that has 3D touch, you'll get XYZ configuration. If you have a device that doesn't have 3D touch, like newer devices, since they removed it, you'll only have XY. So when I click on here, this gives you a screen that says your X axis, Y, and Z. And what we wanna do is we wanna uh, set these up we just uh, turn that on. So you want to change the number here in the value to one, two, or three. And we're going to set X axis at number one. We're going to set X axis Y at number two. And we're going to go to X. Oops, that's at number one. Come on. So that's two. And then Z, we're going to set at number three. There you go, so that's all good, yeah? We've set those three things, that's all good. <laughs> Are you following me? <laughs> it's a bit confusing. All right, we're all good. So that's now set up and we're back to this. So we can move this around with our finger. So that's our expression. And you'll see when I press down, that's where I'm getting the 3D touch pop up compared to just moving the device around, yeah? Right, now we need to go into the swarm base and we need to go in and assign the x and y's to our expressions so i'm going to click on uh let's go to the full screen here we're going to click on midi and now we've got uh we can actually go in here and we can go and mess with these and all you need to do to mess with these is click on whatever you would like to work with the expression so i can go uh expression um click on here and I want to change this to channel one. And I th I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. And then we move the value. Th Thomas will let me know if I'm doing it wrong. I think we change this to one as well. And now, I think I did it wrong. <laughs> Let's take it. <laughs> um, Let's unassign it. And I think this is, we do this to one. Yeah. And it's not working. Look at that. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> Fuck me. Peppy, shut up. <laughs> All right. So um, everything should be working good. 
but I'm sure there's a step I'm missing. <laughs> right, so, um, right, I've got, let me just flick over to here. MIDI. And it should, let's try hitting one here. And, no, it's not working for me. Why is it not working, Thomas? Do I have to get? Do I have to go to your video? Let's let's see. Why don't we just do that? Because like, you've got ten minutes left. Let's go over to Thomas's video because he explains it so much better than me. Maybe I can follow along with Thomas. Let's do that. Um, oh come on, dude. Oh, uh, uh, did I? All right. Let's go in and fix that. So I uh, I signed. Uh, one, two, three. All right. Oh, is that, is that because I've done, let's unassign everything. Let's do that. Let's make sure everything's unassigned. Okay. One isn't taken. It is on my phone it's taken, Thomas. It is. If I have a look, if I go back to here. So, axis X is set to... Ah, because I've got to do that. To... That's why. There we go. You're right. And it's got to go there. And axis there has to go there. Is that right? I thought they all went to one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> oh man. You know what, Thomas? You explain it. <laughs> and I'll just watch and do it while you're explaining it. <laughs> Let's all follow along with Thomas, yeah? <laughs> man, I love live streaming. This is the, the joy of live streaming. So let's watch Thomas as he explains it. I'm going to follow along with him. All right. Oh, fuck. Are you shitting? Good evening, everyone. There we go. My name is Thomas. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you how Hello, you Thomas. can use your iPhone as a MIDI. <laughs> right. MIDI You're watching? I'm watching. IPad. For a quick example on how to do this, <laughs> I have just have my iPhone in my left hand and I have my right hand on the keyboard of my Roland piano. Look, he's got it working. And nobody loves a show off, Thomas. Okay, this is just an example of what you can do with it. <laughs> now, for uh, this to work, you need two apps. One app you need to download on both your iPhone and on your iPad. That app is called MIDI Mirror. <laughs> it is a piece of piss, Russ. This app is free. <laughs> On the iPhone side of things, you need to make sure both devices are We've connected. We've got 10 minutes Bluetooth. still. And in destinations, you need to set um, it to iPad. Of, I've done this. You know, I've done this. Of your choosing. In my case, it's iPad from Thomas. <laughs> now you need to go to advertise. You need to advertise your iPhone so that it can be picked up in the... Millimeter version of it on the iPad. As you can see here, <laughs> I found my own. I'm learning iPhone. from Thomas Doug. And I selected it here. <laughs> As a destination, I'm going to set it to AUM. Oh, this is set to on. Now, now that this is connected, you still need a way <laughs> to send. Is anybody else getting wet to listening to Thomas? Your iPad. For this, I've used another app. It's called MIDI Chur, also oh a free app. What this app is, it has a pad control, but also an X, Y <laughs> axis. It's like a pad. Not only that, it also has like a, a 3D touch control. So if yeah, you I'm covered this. On the screen, you'll Just see get the to the meat, like man. <laughs> on the iPad, that is set to the expression. I'll go over the <laughs> settings, uh, how you can set this up. In All right, here we go. I've got to pay attention. Shh, be no. quiet, be quiet. For reasons, 
Peppy. Things, you need to go to XYZ <laughs> control configuration. Right. And here you can oh, select between the different axes. Yeah. yeah. I've set both, uh, all three of them to channel one. Right. And I've set the X to control change number one, that you can see here at the top. The Y axis I've set to control change number two. Yeah, I've got that. And the Z axis I changed to control change number three. I've got that. Okay. If everything is correct and connected, you should be able to find your iPhone here in the drop down menu. I know what I'm missing. And if you see, if I you know what I'm missing now. The XYZ pad. <laughs> And I do some changes. You'll see that there is an orange line here, which means that I know what I'm missing now. Sent and received. And I didn't click the AUM destination. I also connected my Roland digital piano. And no, I, I didn't do the notes. Maximum value. X Y Z pad in itself does not give any information on what notes to play. So for that, I need an external keyboard. <laughs> Going back to the Swamp Trumpet app. You can press the MIDI button here, and you can see that I've set the velocity on ah, the expression. Right, actually. so the values have to be the channel one, right? And see? the value three, which means that if I press down on my iPhone with the 3D touch, it sends a, a signal. If I go to the growl and the flutter. Both are re being received from channel one, control change number two. Remember, we've set that up in the uh, miniature app already. Right. The last, uh, the last there control I assigned See? is the vibrato, which is set to number uh, one. I could, actually, I could set this to uh, just, you know, channel one, but it doesn't matter for this case. Now, you can see if I press down, so the channel can be any. The expression will go up. If I press a note here, it's aligned. If I go up, the flutter and the growl both go up as well. See? Now, if I go left, you'll see that the vibrato will go up. Now that <laughs> that's this one here. So I'm going to go back just so you can see it again. So where you set the settings here. This, you need to go to XYZ control configuration. Right. So there we and go. Here you can select between the different axes. I've set both, uh, all three of them to channel one. And I've set the X to control change number one, that you can see here at the top. The Y axis I've set to control change number two, and the Z axis I changed to control change number three. There you go. Okay. Mind blown, huh? If everything is correct. If everything is correct, connected. remember that. If you everything be is able correct. To find your iPhone so here. this is going to be the grand finale. I'm going to do it, and it's going to work. <laughs> and if you see, if I go back to the X Y Z pad. And I do some yeah, this isn't for you, you Ross. You see that there right. is an orange line here, which means that there is a signal being sent and received. I also connected my Roland digital piano <laughs> to input notes. Because I'm just making sure everything's itself, good, yeah? So I've got everything set perfectly now. Notes to play. So right. I need an external so keyboard. We need the external keyboard. <laughs> if everything's Going correct at all. the Swamp Trumpet app. <laughs> I'm just re-watching this one more time, so don't make a mistake. Here. And you can see... Oh, Peppy! Shut up! ...velocity on more of the expression, actually, <laughs> to channel one and the value three. Which right. means that if I press down on my iPhone... Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. If touch, it sends a, a signal. <laughs> if I go to the growl and the flutter... Right, so we're good Both now, I think. Re being received from <laughs> channel one, control change number two. Remember, we've set that up in the uh, miniature app already. So you've selected the last, two. Uh, the cool. last control so, I assigned. All right, let's give it a go now. It's the vibrato, which let's is set to number uh, one. Let's try and stop this. 
Right, so we'll go back to AUM, so, and we'll uh, grab this. Yeah, well, that's why I showed, uh, that's why I showed, um, <laughs> I think I just buy a trumpet. <laughs> yeah, you work for Doug, but not for me. Right, so I need to actually connect my controller. Cool, so my controller is connected now. That's a good thing. Now, if we go in here to MIDI, um, I'm just going to, so let's select. So we go to here, and he selected one, and it was three, wasn't it? And... <laughs> Did you see it came up with an error there? That's <laughs> not working. <laughs> so there we go. And it's not working for me. Why is that not working? <laughs> Did this work last night? I swear to God, it worked. Oh man, I'll give up. So just go and watch Thomas's video. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I can't believe it. Like, you know what? You know, I'll tell you what. I don't know if it is that I'm using just my shitty 6S and, and there's something up with that because last night I used my iPhone SE and everything just worked perfectly. Like everything was absolutely nailed without a problem. So I really don't get that. I've got this set to, uh, I'm going to try setting this to, let's see, I'm trying to do the 3D touch, but actually that's not even working either. So let's go to, um, see, 3D touch, nothing's working. I don't know, man. I, I can't actually work it out. You know what? I'm going to smash this phone. What do you think? Because um, <laughs> it's set to the right channel and everything's uh, set to the right place. If you come back here and I look at my phone, everything's set up exactly like you said. I don't actually understand. So, you know. Hey, I'm not a pro. I used to be. <laughs> but as you can see in the settings here, I've got everything set exactly how Thomas had it set up just there. So controller change number um, two and three, they're all set up for controller change number one, two, and three. The uh, values are set exactly the same as what Thomas had set up there. So that's all good. In configuration, I've got, um, let's just go back over to uh, this app and make sure everything's connected here. Maybe that would help. <laughs> no, it hasn't. So. Um, it has, hasn't actually helped. So, what are you talking about? Min vac, max values? Oh, fuck, man. This has been the worst thing ever. <laughs> let, me, let me know when it's fixed. I'll be playing the new anal beats. <laughs> Comment of the day. <laughs> See, it's, it's working here. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, every, everything's advertised. So at iPhone's advertised. Look, it's all all connected there. Devices are connected. It's connected to my iPad. Um, I'm going to go back into here. It's all advertised. Yep, so that's all advertised. It's all connected. Everything's good. But I don't actually get why it's not. So, yeah. I've got nothing, man. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't even going to do this today. And I was like, fucking, why am I doing this? I just send people to Thomas's channel. You know what? Fucking go to Thomas's channel. If you don't fucking like it, fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is what happens, man. Technology. You know, this is what happens. Things go wrong. It's, as you can see, it's, you can do it. It's something that does work. For some reason, I'm just not connecting right, uh, you know. And, and, you know, I went over this about three times yesterday and it seemed to work when I did it, but it's just not working now for some fucking reason. Um, 
What about if I try a different thing? What if I try this and go to um, two? No, see? And even if I choose channel one, it's actually not working. So there you go. I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's just go crazy and select a whole bunch of things. <laughs> Let's just select everything from here. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, exactly. It'll be something really small. <laughs> oh, thanks, I have an idea. <laughs> All right, so watch Thomas's video. I'll link to it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, these things happen. And um, I'm going to go through my iPhone 6S in the bin, right? But uh, you know what? Maybe we'll, we'll, I'll revisit it uh, in the next show when we look at the violin. And <laughs> make sure it's all set up right next time. You know what? This was a dumb idea. It's your fault, Thomas. All right, I'm done. I'm done with you, Thomas. I'm removing you from the fucking channel. Had enough. All right, folks. <laughs> Sorry for wasting the last 20 minutes of your time. I'm sure Swam are going to be stoked with this saying, you really didn't show the expression correctly. <laughs> hey, you can't win them all, and that's it. You've got to laugh at the end of the day, because if you don't laugh, you'll turn out to be a grumpy old piece of shit, and nobody will want to hang out with you. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And... At the end of the day, we've kind of lost focus that this instrument is fucking great. So, um, just to wrap up, let's do something really exciting and happy because I've run out over time and I really didn't want that to happen. So let's give away two apps, yeah? Let's give away some apps. Let's do the Wheel of Warts. Let's bring it up on the screen because we've got a competition to run. So we'll end on a high note. Cue the music, bitch. Yeah, so we've got two of these to give away. Uh... The Wheel of Warts will wrap up the show. Let's spin the Wheel of Warts. Let's do it now. Who's going to win? Who's going to win on the Wheel of Warts? Where's the Wheel of Warts? The Wheel of Warts? The Wheel of Warts? Yeah. Spin it, baby. Woohoo! Fam Prem! You have won, fam. Hello, fam. So that's good. You have one. Uh, let me use my iPhone 6S for something good, and that's writing notes. <laughs> it writes notes okay. All right, let's spin the wheel one more time. Let's spin the wheel. We've got one more copy to give away. Spin the wheel! And it's a uh, Aclibs. Aclibs has one. Okay, so there are your winners for today. Thanks, music. You can go away. Right, and remember, you still have the chance to win two more copies of whichever one you would like. So whichever out of the four, all you need to do is leave a comment like or subscribe and subscribe on this video once it drops and um, you too can uh, be in the winning on the next show which is in two days time so you've got two days to leave a comment on this video and um, we've got two more to give away and then we're doing the violin on friday your time living in the past and uh, so we've got again so there's four more all up to go so there you go if um if, and if you've already won don't enter again because we're trying to give everybody a copy so yeah that is it for today. Congratulations to the winners. Sorry for the, for the fuck around. I'm going to go and have a 10 Werther's Originals and that should solve the pain. Um, <laughs> God damn it, man. Get, oh, 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 well, don't like the video. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Try putting a fucking emoji on, Wall. <laughs> See, I laughed to give you the uh, expression, expression, the word of the day, that I wasn't being serious there. <laughs> All right, so that is it for today. <laughs> Tomorrow we are looking at, I'll let you know, I've gone over time, so I'm terribly sorry about that. Tomorrow we're looking at this, and this should be an absolute car crash as, again. Looking at the nano control tomorrow, yeah? Good times. And then... 
we have Marcus Manderson on the day after for an interview. So the fingers, man, the fingers is on the show on Thursday if you're living in the past. So we've got a couple of really good shows coming up. And um, hey, just remember too, let's not kill the 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 the, the mate lead story here. The Swarm double bass instrument is awesome, and you can use it with Geo Shred really easily. <laughs> really easily. See how easy it was to use Geo Shred? Just forget everything. Forget everything else that happened, all right? Just forget everything. Look into my eyes. 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 Forget everything that happened with the Bluetooth. Forget everything that happened. You can't remember the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth never happened. It was all Geo Shred. 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 See you later, folks. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Bye bye! Stop now, Peppy. I said stop. I said stop. I said stop. I said stop. For fuck's sake, stop. That's enough, Peppy. We get it.